What is going on guys? Bionic Man here with another walk-in video. So it's been a little bit of a time since I've made a video. I was having some phone issues, but everything is back up and running again. So I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. As you can see here, uh, this is Walk-In's Twitter page. They are having a Catholic-inspired artworks competition. Now, this is a great competition I wanted to tell you about, guys. Um, it's going through November 1st um, to November 20th. There will be 12 winners. There is a prize pool of 14,000 walk-in and 12 loot boxes. So this is going to be a fantastic giveaway. I'm going to read through some of the rules um, and then I'm going to go into a little bit more depth um, about the walk-in ambassador program. So as you can see here, first place, there's going to be three winners, um, 1,000 walk-in and a premium Catholic loot box for each person. Second place, another 1,000 walk-in per with uh, super Catholic loot box. And third place, we'll have six winners with a thousand walk-in per and a basic Catholic loot box. There will also be 10 randomly selected entries that will receive 200 walk-in each. Now, as it says here, it wants you to create a Catholic themed artwork using whatever tool or tools that feel best. You may draw, paint, sketch, it's up to you. One thing I want to make clear is some of the entries that are already in here are going to be disqualified. You have to do this yourself. You cannot use a program on a computer, on a phone, on a laptop, on an iPad. None of that is going to work. You have to draw, paint, or sketch this on your own. Now, I'm going to post a link to... Um, this uh, docs.walkin.io in my description, but I'm going to go through some of the rules here with you now. This is going to be a fantastic uh, giveaway, guys. This is probably one of the best giveaways that they've done. Obviously, it's themed on... Um, you know, some talented people that have the ability or the artistic ability rather to draw or create some of these things. But I think overall, this is probably one of the best giveaways that they have done. A thousand walk-in in a premium Catholic loot box or super Catholic or even a basic. I mean, you what can you complain about with that? Premium Catholic is going to have a guaranteed uncommon or better, obviously with super you have better chances of getting, um, you're going to have obviously at least in a minimum, you're going to have a common, if not an uncommon, potentially a rare. And then with the basic Catholic, you're definitely most likely going to get a common uh, Catholic. But there again is obviously a potential of getting an uncommon. And as you keep going up with rarity, it's going to be severely diminished with your chances. So, as it says, a shout out to our ever creative community, amateurs and professionals alike, thrilled to invite you to dust off your brushes or turn on your tablet and take part of this walk-in contest. See, that's where it's strange to me that they say you can put in your tablet because it says right here that in you have to you have to draw it. So that's why I'm just confused. Now it says that you have to follow Walkin.io on Twitter, so make sure you do that, and you use the hashtag MyWalkinNFT. It says that on November 15th, a Walkin team shortlist will announce 24 quarterfinalists. The quarterfinals will be determined at the discretion of the Walkin team, with creativity, quality, and thematic relevance being the main criteria. November 16th, public voting on Twitter begins. It will take place in the official Walkin Twitter account. The 24 quarterfinals will be divided into pairs, with voting to commence until we have the final three first place winners. 
The 24 quarterfinals should be randomly divided into 12 pairs of voting, two entries in each, with the winner of each voting becoming a semifinalist. Those 12 participants who do not advance won't be able to compete for the prizes. During the semifinal stage, the 12 semifinals should be paired into six matchups, with the winner of each vote becoming the finalist. Those who do not advance will become the third place winners, eligible for 1,000 walk in in a basic Catholic loot box. The six finalists will be paired into three matchups, the winner of each vote becoming the first place winner eligible for 1,000 walk in in a premium Catholic loot box. The other three will be in second place winners eligible for 1,000 walk in in a super Catholic loot box. Now, here is where it gets interesting with the submissions. It says, Submissions containing screenshots of the walk-in application, collages, video, or animations are not accepted. So, I, I guess I guess you can digitally draw them. It just seems tough to do that without using any of the pictures. So, let me let me rephrase. I guess you can create the animation on a computer, but you have to free draw or free create that image by hand on the computer. So it, it kind of limits your ability. You have to do it all on your own. You cannot take any other applicable pictures from the game or from the internet, you have to free draw it. So I guess they are allowing the ability to use in device of some sorts to create this. I just, I just cannot logically see how you do that without using some of the images or animations I mean, that's, that's, that's my, that's my thoughts on it. I mean, some of you guys are obviously way, way, way better at drawing some of these things on the computer. I would have no idea how to do it. When my, when I do my submission, I'm going to free draw it. And the only reason I am going to do that is because I don't know how to do it on the computer. But second of all, this is what worries me. It, it allows them, right here, it says, the walking team reserves the right to disqualify entries when authenticity and originality cannot be verified. It leaves it open for interpretation. So if you free draw it on a piece of paper, there is no way that they can say that you manipulated it to suit you or anything was done maliciously. So that's my best advice would probably be to free draw or draw this on a piece of paper versus doing it on a computer. I will say, if you can draw it on a computer, go right ahead. I just don't know how, I don't know how easy that would be. And I also don't know where the rules will come in to play if something could be interpreted as being copied in some sort of the sense. Now, it does say that multiple submissions are accepted, yet each artwork must be submitted as a separate entry. Submitting multiple artworks in one entry will be qualified as one entry. So, if you are very talented and you draw 30 different pictures, that's 30 different entries that you get amplifying your chances of winning. Which I think is pretty good. By submitting an entry, the participant is giving permission for walking to share work on all social media platforms and public-facing channels. In addition, the participant is given walk-in permission to show, copy, or use the work, including the right to create, issue, and sell multiple NFTs of your work for giveaway and marketing purposes. Now, this would be pretty cool. If you created a one-of-a-kind Catholic and it won... And then somehow you got that Kathleen, that would be crazy. That would be pretty cool. Entries must be submitted on Twitter with the accompanying hashtag, as I mentioned before, hashtag my walk in NFT and walk in dot underscore IO must be mentioned and you must be a follower of walk in underscore IO 
to be able to qualify. Entries submitted outside of Twitter are not accepted. Entries submitted on Twitter but not meeting all the entrance requirements, as I had mentioned earlier, are not going to be accepted. And walk-in reserves the right to unilaterally exclude any entry from consideration for any reason. And that right there is what would lean me towards drawing it just to be safe. Again, I was wrong when I stated it in the beginning that you couldn't use a computer or a tablet. I think the my phrasing of you can't, it should have been you probably shouldn't. That would have been the correct term. And it's just from the reading is what had gotten to me in that aspect. During the public voting exchange, any form of voting manipulation is strictly prohibited. And again, walk-in reserves the right to unilaterally assign places to winning entries should there be any suspicion of voting manipulation or voting fraud taking place. Walk-in reserves the right to cancel or amend any contest or contest results at their sole discretion. Only participants that meet the all, sorry, meet all of the entry requirements are eligible to be nominated and receive prizes. Entries will be validated prior to the winners being drawn. If an entry does not meet the requirements, it will be removed from the list of quarter finalists. So overall, I think this is going to be a great giveaway that they are setting up here. Again, it says it's going to, it's already, it's already in the month of November, but it entries will be accepted until November 14th at 12 UTC, which is roughly around, I believe, 8 a.m. my time, East Eastern Standard Time in the United States. That seems to be the time of all of the launches of everything that they have going on. So it's definitely going to be something to be excited for. Now, let me get out of some of this stuff as I was editing through. Okay, so the other part of this endeavor that I wanted to talk about is right here. I have the Earning Alliance. We have changed the name of the Earning Alliance uh, of, well, of my Discord. It's now changed to the Earning Alliance by Bionic Man with a massive help from Albert along the way. Albert, the other Discord mod, phenomenal guy, a great friend of mine, has been helping me grow this page and my Discord group tremendously. I want to give him a massive shout out here while I have the chance. Now, let's go into the news of today. Mamina has come in and posted. We have sent the emails to successful ambassador applicants today from email support at walkin.io. Congratulations to the ones the one or people, rather, this phrasing is incorrect, who is on the list. Now, luckily, I managed to get on that list, and I am very, very, very excited that I was named an official walk-in ambassador. There is another American guy, uh, Red Note, or Bluer Note, his, his official name he was also chosen as a walk-in ambassador. He is a tremendous guy as well. Um, I am very excited to be able to represent walk-in officially as an ambassador. Now, as I have posted in the past, and some of you guys that are in part of my Discord may know, I am a walk-in ambassador for YGG as well. YGG, or Yield Guild Games, is a phenomenal guild to join if any of you guys have not joined in the description below the video, I will post an invite to join the group of YGG, a phenomenal guild. There's a lot of different games that they're involved in. You can join up in the walking group. I originally got involved with them for Geno Pets, but that's a completely different story, and that's going to be for another video when we're talking about Geno Pets. This is a walking video here. Again, this is... Um, a phenomenal giveaway that they are doing on Discord, um, or they've announced on Discord, and it's all run on Twitter. I am very excited for 
the competition and challenges that are coming up. Now, the other thing, and I'm a little late to the punch here, but they are, they did do a spooky Halloween story event on, on uh, Twitter as well. Now, I have entered and I was selected as one of the finalists on the Twitter giveaway. My Twitter name is BionicMan95. <laughs> I'm sure you can very easily see why. Um, if you guys would do me a favor, I don't even want you just to vote for me because that is not fair for me to ask that. But I'm going to ask you guys to go in to the Twitter post. I'm going to post a link in here. It, it's it's going to um, expire in about 12 hours, the, uh, the voting chances. There are... Three groups of four, and I am in one of them. I would love for you guys to go on there, read through the stories, and truly vote for what story you like the most. There is a couple of other people. Again, there's 11 other people that are competing in this. I think they all deserve a fair shake at this challenge. And, you know, a, a vote for... One of us could change up the numbers dramatically and could really propel somebody ahead. So I'm not asking you to vote for me, but what I'm asking you to do is to go in and read the stories and vote your conscience. Because we don't want to not give somebody a chance of winning that deserves a chance at winning. And there is a bunch of good stories in all of the groups, even in my groups, there is a bunch of good stories in there. And I think everybody should get their fair shot at trying to win this competition. So I will put the link in the description below. And until next time, guys, as always, Bionic Man out.